The latest events are nothing short of apocalyptic, so the current arms race between custom truck manufacturers to build machines befitting to meet the end of the world does not feel at all surprising. Whether you need a beastly vehicle to run over the hordes of brain-eating zombies or need power to carry tons of supplies on the next supermarket raid, we have got you covered. In this video, we'll demonstrate to you the newest and the most popular 6x6 trucks of today. So, subscribe to our channel not to miss the most informative and exclusive automotive top 10s on YouTube and enjoy the ride! Rasvani Hercules 6x6 Rasvani Motors might have disappeared from the automotive scene for a while, but as it turns out, only to develop an all-new beast that is even crazier than the previous tank model. Named Hercules after the legendary Roman hero, this all-capable machine sits on a three-axle chassis that allows for an on-demand six-wheel drive to conquer any obstacle out there. As standard, the model gets a 4-inch lift kit, Fox 2.0 shocks, and powerful 16-inch brakes. But you can also optionally enhance it with one of two off-road packages, even larger brakes, and more hardcore bodywork. The base engine of the Hercules is a 3.6-liter V6 with 285 HP. But the company also offers a $40,000 6.4-liter SRT upgrade with 500 horses, or a supercharged V8 that makes 1300 horsepower and costs a whopping $249,000. Finally, the truck gets a custom interior with specially developed seats, thermal and night vision, as well as an EMP device. So flow Jeeps if Marvel's skull-bearing anti-hero The Punisher was willing to abandon his Pontiac GTO to drive a modern pickup, he would have definitely addressed this custom shop from South Florida. Both SF 6x6 and SF 6x6 G models begin with cheap trucks that are literally cut in half, extended, and rendered beyond recognition. In case of the former, it is the Wrangler platform that gets reworked, and it is powered by a 3-liter Echo diesel. While the latter, is a Gladiator brought to life either by 3.6-liter Pentastar V6 or a mighty Chevrolet Corvette LS3 6.2-liter V8 with 500 horsepower. The SoFlow engineers do not believe in half measures, so the added unbreakable metal axle outfitted with the Detroit True Track Locker differential implies a full-time six-wheel drive. The rest of the worthy enhancements include a 5-inch suspension lift, Fox shocks, Falcon steering stabilizer, 38 by 15 inch Patagonia tires, and steel armor. Hennessy Performance Goliath 6x6 Hennessy is well known for creating the most outrageous power and performance upgrades for all kinds of vehicles, from sports cars to pickup trucks. In this case, they took a Chevy Silverado Trail bus equipped with the C71 off road package and transformed it into three-axle 6x6 Goliath. The truck received a new rear suspension, an 8-inch lift kit, a roll bar, and a custom bed. Additionally, the model rides on 20-inch wheels wrapped in 37-inch tires from BF Goodrich. The 6.2-liter V8 got supercharged with a 2.9-liter unit and now nets over 800 horses, which are paired with a cold air intake and a stainless exhaust. By the way, if you're not a Chevrolet fan, Hennessy is also preparing an all-new Mammoth 6x6 pickup that is based on the Ram TRX. It is expected to get a 7-liter Halifant engine with 1200 horsepower. Quantec Defender 6x6 HC For over 10 years, the British Quantec has been developing special all-terrain solutions for literally anything that has wheels, from civilian SUVs to military carriers. One of the most interesting conversion kits launched by the company is the Land Rover Defender 6x6 suspension upgrade. Compatible with both 110 and 130 Defender donors, the six-wheel kit adds a tandem axle at the rear, supported by the company's unique walking beam suspension system. The upgrade also increases standard payload capacity by 150%, and, as standard, features a heavy-duty limited-slip differential. As for the braking ability, it is additionally boosted 
by inboard vented caliper disc brakes. Smash the like button if you like our format and leave a comment below to keep the conversation going. Watch till the end and let's keep rolling! Buraco 6x6 Do not expect to find the baddest Silverado on the US shores. Instead, it is built in the heart of Europe, in Czech Republic, where Buraco and SRO is headquartered. The original Buracos used to be based on the Hummer H2 platform, so on the new models, the front end of Chevy's pickup is reworked to resemble the grated grill of the GM Legend. The 6x6 could be ordered in double cab or crew cab body with a 6.2 or 6.8 liter Ecotec 3V8 gasoline engine with 420 through 1000 horsepower. The truck rides on high strength steel chassis, but the bodywork is completed with lighter aluminum, carbon fiber, and carbon composite. The truck is equipped with part time and full time four wheel drive, limited slip differential, ABS, and driveline traction control. As for the interior, it keeps the Chevy Silverado advantages, like automatic dual zone climate control, leather trim, a way power adjustable driver's seat with lumbar support, Chevrolet MyLink infotainment, and Bose Audio. Bruiser Conversion 6x6 Based on the Jeep Wrangler JKU platform, this build took Bruiser Conversions 6 months of hard work. The company specialists stretched the vehicle's frame to accommodate the extra axle, upgraded the suspension, and replaced the stock drivetrain. At the front, the behemoth received new Fox Coil loafers connected to 4 link long arm, while at the rear, you will find a custom 9 inch rear axle tandem, more Fox units, and adjustable track bars. The tuner also equipped the truck with special 17 inch beadlock wheels wrapped into Mickey Thompson off road tires measuring 40 inches in diameter. Such a massive bump required plenty of propulsion power, so Bruiser Conversions installed a General Motors sourced LS3 6.2 liter V8 that produces 480 horsepower and 450 pound feet of torque. Other notable additions include the bed floor made of oak wood, steel bumpers, and an optional light bar. Ford F550 Super Duty and Domitus Diesel Brothers is a Discovery Channel reality TV series that follows a group of truck buffs from Utah who have created some incredible custom projects through the years. The Indomitus was commissioned in 2017 in the season 4 of the show for the Minnesota Soybean Research Council. The Ford's giant is motivated by 6.7 liter V8 turbo diesel paired with a 6 speed torque shift transmission with select shift and a true 6x6 drive. Its suspension was reworked and lifted by 7 inches. It is now a custom 4 link with adjustable airbags, Bilstein shocks, and other rough stuff parts. The rest of the aftermarket add ons are 40 inch DBL wheels, fiberglass fenders, flog front and rear bumpers and Giverny green paint by PPG. By the way, the Indomitus is currently on sale through the unique specialty and classic course platform with just 13,000 miles on the odometer. Mega Tourer 6x6 Patriot Campers is an Australian manufacturer of overland equipment and off-road trailers that occasionally releases insane truck builds just to demonstrate their expertise in the industry. In 2017, the brand created the 6x6 model in cooperation with several market-leading suppliers. The Mega Tour started its life as a regular Toyota Land Cruiser 79 that is fitted with new portal axles and a custom-designed air ride suspension with an 8-inch lift kit. The car rides on 6 wheels measuring 18 inches in diameter wrapped in huge 31-inch all-terrain tires. The braking system is sourced from WP Pro brakes and is represented by 320 discs and 6 spot calipers at all corners. The Land Cruiser's engine is reworked by specialists from GSL, so now the 4.5 liter turbo diesel makes 400 HP. Of course, being a creation of Patriot Campers, the truck also scores for batteries, solar panels, a 60 liter fridge, and a 70 liter water tank for staying off grid. Fleet 
Flying Huntsman 6x6. Chelsea Truck Company was founded by F. Sak Han and for 10 years has specialized in custom modification of the iconic off-road vehicles. One of the most prominent designs of the British workshop is the Flying Huntsman 6x6, which is based on the previous generation Land Rover Defender 110. The vehicle gets an extended chassis as well as an additional axle with pneumatic actuation. There is also 2-inch suspension lift and new 18-inch wheels and 1945 retro design. This truck can make its way through almost any kind of terrain thanks to the massive power output provided by a 430 HP GM LS3 6.2 liter V8 engine. Further modifications include upgraded braking, high-low ratio drive system, locking differentials, and absolutely gorgeous stitched leather interior. This two-year-old truck is currently on sale through Han Automobiles for $390,000, and it has only 60 miles on the odometer. Lamborghini LM002 6x6 If you were born in this century, most likely you would not know that the Urus was not Lamborghini's first SUV. This title actually belongs to the Rambo Lambo, a vehicle created as a part of the Lamborghini Militare series produced between 1986 and 1993. Back in the day, the folks in Camo were not impressed with the truck, so 328 non-military versions entered garages of civilians instead. The buyers had two front-mounted engine choices, a 5.2-liter V12 or a more powerful 7.2-liter L804 Marine V12, which back in the day was more commonly installed on powerboats. This vehicle was recently reimagined by Abimelech Arellano from Abimelech Design as an awesome 6x6 truck. And we do hope that custom workshops follow this artist on Instagram and will get to work ASAP. Hopefully, these trucks will never be tested in the real end-of-the-world scenarios. But still, which one would you choose as your personal zombie-smashing mobile? Share with us in the comments below. Like this episode, subscribe to Automotive Territory, ring the notification bell, and proceed to exploring other extraordinary episodes in our channel. May the torque be with you!